Here we have Pieter Parkour. I killed my uncle, he tried to teach me about power. So, get, get your ass over there, Peter Parker. Um, I slept with my aunt, I know nothing, Joan Snow. <laughs> I know nothing, oh, that's so good. You're going over to green. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Holy Potatoes. What the hell? I'm your host, the Bird Man with his Falcon, and I'll be honest with you, this one actually crept up on me. Like, I had my eyes on Holy Potatoes Were in Space, which happened earlier in the year or late last year. I forget exactly when that came out. This one, though, I had no idea it was coming out. Like, I just suddenly got an email from it, and I was like, hey, that's very intriguing, and I'm here checking it out for us, but. That being said, I actually really do enjoy the Holy Potato series, and I'm excited about this one because this one's actually very cool. Here, you're playing the role of a dude who ends up in hell, and you end up being like the chef in hell. And the way you make your plates and your meals for people will be by cooking, boiling, and other nasty things to sinners. And that's how you make your meals. So it's a very intriguing concept. It's cause, you know, it's got that whole comical Holy Potatoes thing with a bit of like, you know, a ooh, spooky hell type of vibe to it. So let's get into it as soon as possible. This comes out on, I believe this comes out on Friday. So I'll try to get the video out before then or on Friday for us. The kitchen, it gave me life. But it also took my life. <laughs> and everything I ever had. If you guys enjoyed this, by the way, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we could also check this out. More of this on the channel, if you guys do enjoy it, so let me know. Um, I'm Right now, I'm planning on doing one video to kind of bring it to awareness that, hey, there's a new game out here. But if you guys enjoyed it, I could, you know, record a couple more for us. Ouch, that hurt. There's a nice smell from there. Alrighty, so here's going to be my, my spud for this game here. Press space to continue. Where am I? What is this place? Hey. Hey, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Why are you wandering about? It's time to fall in. What's your name? Am I my name? Oh, wait. Ugh, oh, that's right. Memories wiped. What do you want me to call you? So we get to choose our name here right off the bat? So, oh, come on. I, I like, I normally change him to, you know, the old Falcon 6 Niner, but Sweeney Tots is so good. It works itself out. They're potatoes, Sweeney Tots. It's perfect. I can't change it. You're, you're going to remain Sweeney Tots. Where did you used to work at? The TSI Friday. <laughs> As opposed to TJ. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, I feel like I don't want to change any of this. It's so good. Well, how about the flag, though? Can we just change the flag? All right, here we have a knife and a fork. We have a couple designs here I could choose. I could also write if I want to. You know what? This is the closest thing imaginable to the whole chef thing. What if I at least change the color? What if, oh, I, I like yellow and blue. It's not too bad. We got a little purple, a little pink, white. I like the black and yellow. Black and yellow is a really good mixture, so I'll go with that one. I'll be like a, a, a bumblebee of a chef or something. We'll save that one right there. Okay. Sweeney Tots? That's an odd name. Oh, whatever. Get in line. You're late enough as it is. Oh, uh, what? What's going on? Listen up, fresh batch. My name is Tammy Broccoliver, and I'm the sous chef and manager of this joint. First things first. Welcome to hell. That's right. Y'all are dead. D-A-E-D. Kaboom. Squished. Smashed. Uh, your spelling's a little off there. Oh, what, what? What did I say you could speak? The audacity. Thank the devil you're already dead, or you would wish you were. So anyway, yep, basically y'all are given a chance to prove your worth down here as chefs. Uh, we're gonna be cooking? Yes, and all of you will be assuming the role of gatekeeper chefs, the unholy protectors of hell. Wait, why aren't you changing to your uniforms yet? Let me just do this. Yeah. All right. We're all little spud chef dudes. Much better. You lot are now in charge of processing the sinners through various methods of torture. Which includes frying, boiling, smashing, baking. Oh, that sounds absolutely D-E-L-E-E-S-H-O-U-S, doesn't it? That's not how you spell delicious either. You'll be going through the nine circles of hell. The first circle is right there, right where we are now, in limbo. This is where sinners wander about, aimlessly for their sins are too small for the deeper levels of hell, but too big for the clouds of heaven. You may think, oh, this doesn't look like hell. Where are the demons? Where are the fiery flames of purgatory? Well, not every circle is the same. The mainstream media only ever shows the circle of anger because they deem it the most hellish. Ha! If you spuds are lucky, you may just get out to visit the other circles and see them for yourselves. 
Yes, y'all be slogging around in this hot, stuffy kitchen right over here. Follow me. Hey, you. Hmm. Hi. The name's Vegil. And this is Dante. I met her just now. Hi, welcome. The Circus of Torment and Misery. No, Dante, that's not the right attitude to have on your first day. What's your name? Sweeney Tots, my man. Nice to meet you, Sweeney Tots. I know the both of you might be a little confused right now. I was too when I first got here. Don't worry, it'll be fine. We just have to follow simple instruction. Got it? Good. I know y'all are new here, but I expect nothing less than perfection, especially if you're under my command. Right, so here's your task list and objectives of this circle, lads. Aprons up and get cooking. Um. Uh, oops. Did you get everything she said? No matter. I'm kind of familiar with how things run here. I can show you guys the ropes, but I thought you were also part of the fresh batch. Huh. Alright, so tutorial. Would you like to start the tutorial? Uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't played this game before, so I, I think we might need it. First, we need to sort the evil potatoes. Click on the pit. This is the center's profile page. It shows you all the information you need about this nasty spud. This is gonna be Tony Starch. Oh, I get it. It's Tony Stark Iron Man. He seduced the secretary and she was hot as pepper. <laughs> it sounds like Tony Stark, all right. Over here states the sinner's name and what heinous crime he or she has committed. And here is the potato synonyms measured. M is for malice, P is for pride, G is for greed, A is for apathy. Now let's assign the sinner to our punishment stations. The friar will turn our sinners into fried potatoes only if the malice stat is higher than 50. Hover over the station to learn about the requirements. So this bad boy right here, Malice, has to be over 50. Luckily for us, Tony starts at 70, so that's where he's gonna be going, I imagine. There he goes! Oh, he's gonna be a fried potato soon. Now let's do the same with the rest of our stations. Remember to hover and check the requirements. So I think it goes by color, right? So yellow would be that, red would be that. Okay, so here we have La Laura Craft. <laughs> I read it a tome. It looked like fun. So you're coming over here to red, right? Yep. Here we have Pieter Parkour. I killed my uncle, he tried to teach me about power. So, get, get your ass over there, Peter Parker. Um, I slept with my aunt, I know nothing, Joan Snow. <laughs> I know nothing, oh, that's so good. You're going over to green. Wow, you're a natural. Time has been frozen while you were sorting. Let's resume to start the process. You can change the auto pause setting in the options menu, press space to unfreeze time. Oh, and they're all being cooked, boiled, and fried, and whatever else is happening to them. Congratulations. You just have generated your first batch of ingredients. Oh, so we turned these people into ingredients, huh? This tab shows your ingredient stock. Keep generating ingredients during prep time so you have enough to work with later on. So we have a prep time, and then we have the cooking, huh? All right. Keep sorting. Service time is coming soon. So you'll be 78 and 74. I guess I could toss you right here. By the way, guys, I'm gonna probably stop skipping. I'm gonna start skipping names now because I gotta throw people in here. It's service time, right? Oh, that was really fast. So if you guys um, see an interesting one and in the, the shows up, let me know if I missed something really cool there. Because right now I gotta focus on clicking action here. Uh, looks like we have a guest god. He wants a potato soup. Click on the stove. Let's find potato soup in the recipe book, uh, which is right over here. These are the ingredients needed for this dish. And we apparently have both of them. Once you have better ingredients later on, you can click on the icons to change its quality. Oh, so right now we have an okay rated one. We could go up to good, epic. All right. So we have everything over here. Let's cook for the guest god. Keep in mind the patience level of the gods. If they run out of patience, they will penalize you instead. So that's their wait time right there. That's cooking. And meanwhile, we get more of these. So toss you over here. Toss you over here. Oh. Dish is done. I got a D rating for that one. Yeah. The dish is done. Mmm. Smells amazing. Let's visit the god's altar to serve his food. Click on the guest panel. Now let's complete his order. And present as the tribute. Yay! You have been awarded with favor for the good service. Favors given to the gods are given by the gods. When their order is complete. If you fail the order, you will lose favor. So right now we get 20 favor for this one. Well, that's going to be my objectives, I think, right? Yeah. So we need to get 20 favor by the end of the day. I thought we already got 20, though. Did we not? And that's it. <laughs> I told you, we already got it. We completed the stage. You seem to be getting the hang of it. Let's start out a real shift. All right. I'm down with it. Pretty basic, I get it. You there! Help me take a photo. 
Um, sure. Make sure to get my good side, yeah? Look at this guy over here, just posing away. Who is this supposed to be? Is this like Loki or something? I'm going by the horns. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What do I know? Let me see. That isn't the right angle. You. Me? Take another one for me. Uh oh. You better get that right angle, man. I don't want to take any pictures. Let me see. Hmm. This isn't too bad. You, give it a try. Oh. Portrait mode, use a potato dog filter. <laughs> Zoom in till his face fills the entire screen. Let's go with that one. Dog filter mode. That'd have been pretty interesting. Let me see. Whoa, this isn't bad at all. Sweet photog skills. Uh, can we get you anything to drink, sir? Huh? Call me Loki. Or D-Loki. I was right about the Loki. The horns gave it away, my man. Oh, aren't you the son of Odin? Oh, you know my old pops, eh? Of course, I've heard whispers about the ruler of Valhalla. Yep, I'm the infamous, or should I say, Instagram famous adopted son. Whoa. I like you guys. <laughs> I'll be able to pick on Instagram for my followers. You guys are bound to have an influx of customers soon. <laughs> Which hashtag do you want me to use? Uh, TSI Friday, sinfully amazing, and nom nom. We can't go wrong with nom nom nom, right? Of course, I'm gonna add hashtag Loki, hashtag Loki looking for some fun, hashtag you pow night to get Loki, and done. No need to thank me. I'm only doing my part for the community. Um, okay. That's real nice of you. Oh, and about that drink. Uh, Bailey's, please. On the rocks. Alright, so item unlock. You obtained new logo items. Oh, so we could actually get new items for at least new pictures and stuff. That's cool. Alright. Game save. And what are we doing now? We gotta get 50 favor? So let's start cooking some of you guys here. So Arisa, you'll be going over here. Um, blue or yellow, let's go to blue. Oh. 59, so I guess we'll send you over here. One over here. So when they're cooking, I gotta wait for that to actually finish up, do I? You come over here. You on that side. Gotta wait for you, so we'll send you to green instead. Send you to red. Bowl of mashed potatoes for Loki. So, hold up. Okay, so bowl of mashed potatoes, let's see. This will be my menu here, so bowl of mashed potatoes are... Whoa, they're right there. Okay, we have okay readings for that one. This will be between D and B+. Let's cook it up. Three seconds left. It's done. New dish done. Another D rating. That's to be expected. We have some terrible ingredients at the moment here. So let's come over here to Loki and present as the tribute. Not too shabby. Was that 40 there, right? Let's get on out of here. So let's continue with lunch here. My peeps out. You want a potato sandwich? All right, hold up, man. Send you over here. So this will be paused now. Send you over here. Uh, we'll probably have to go green with this guy and then blue over here. So meanwhile, they cook. We got to get a potato sandwich for this guy. We have the ingredients for it. Let's cook this one as well. You guys are good. Go back to sorting some of these fellas here. So whenever you bring up the sort menu, it automatically pauses. I see. All right. So you over on that side, you over here, you over there, and you in blue. Unpause. And there's the other dish done. Another D. And I got your D right here, buddy. So we got to present it to the old Loke Master, present as tribute. That's done. We're up to 38. We're looking to get up to 50, it does seem. He wants a potato croquet. Potato croquet, do we got enough for that? It does seem like we do. Cook it. Now meanwhile, let's send you over to blue. Send you to green. Send you over to, I guess, red. Not enough for yellow. Not enough for the yellow. New dish done. Potato croquet. And tribute. Okay, so that should be enough 50. We're at 58 now. Station processing time, 2%. Perfect. So now what? Done. Perfect. So day one's complete. Sinner sorted 19, dishes cooked 3, and orders completed 3. Earn favor, 58. And we got some starch as usual, plus 5. Stay or next stage. What happens if I stay? Spend another day in the stage to collect more starch and ingredients. You can proceed to the next day at the end of the next day. Okay, so... Kind of like farm for items and stuff like that, right? We got five, we got a couple of them here. Let's go to the next one over. 
And we got a speed bonus for this one, too. Well, I mean, we did finish before dinner, which is pretty cool. So, we got 40 blue coins of some variety. Whew! How are you guys holding up? I'm actually doing pretty fantastic, I gotta say. Keep it up, Sweeney Tots. I'm sure there's a reason why we're doing this, so let's do our best. Oink! Hmm? Do you hear that? Oink, oink, squee! I, I can't do pig noises, I guess. I'm a bird, man, not a pig. Hmm. The sound seems to be coming from somewhere nearby. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a pig bat. Yeah, I'd be scared too. What is that? Yeah, it looks like a bat. It kind of looks like a pig too. Oink! Oh, what a sweetheart. Can we keep him? Oh, we got to name him. We get to name our dude too, huh? Bacon? Oh, that's so good because he's part pig, part oh, that's actually kind of good. Um, man, you know what? I normally like to n not falcon. Come on, dog. Well, you know how to spell now or what? You know how to use a keyboard? I normally like to go really custom with my games, but this game does really good when it comes to like you know mixing things up and giving you silly names. So I can't really change anything this far. It's it's cool for once. I don't have to be creative. I can just let the game do its thing. Let's call him Bacon. Hehe. <laughs> you belong with us now, little cutie. Hey, what is he holding in his mouth? Whoa, what is this? It looks familiar. I think it's some form of currency. How? Oh, there's a letter in the envelope. It's starch, the currency we use back on Earth. Free starch. He'll bring home. He's bringing home the bacon. <laughs> oh, you guys with your puns. It reads that the starch are offerings collected from the altar donations up on the land of the living. They are then brought to the chefs in renumeration for feeding and appeasing the gods. Oh, yay! What can we use starch for, though? Oh, our shift is starting soon. Better figure it out later. Let's go! Oh, the shop is now open. Let's get... let's go check it out, yeah. I want to see what I can buy. I'm clicking. You can spend your hard-earned favor in the shop to purchase newer, better stations. Ooh! Okay. We have a deep fryer now. This fryer will produce a good quality fried potato. And the sinner's mouth is above 70. Oh, so instead of 50, we're going 70 now. Definitely a level up from the basic fryer we have. Cooking a dish with good ingredients will result in a higher rank, which gives you more favor. Higher rank dishes also give you more god experience points. They will give you special blessings as they level up. Looks like Loki has leveled up. Hover over Loki's panel to see his blessing. Um, station processing time, negative two. All right, cool. Cool, I'm gonna let you decide when to upgrade the stations yourself. Let's start our shift. So, we're, we're paused here at the moment, right? We, we better be, yeah, we are paused. Um, so should we upgrade now? See, this guy right here is gonna be 56, so it's gotta be 70 or over, so... There's gonna be a small limitation who we could throw where, but, um... So you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Click on the station to replace, well, obviously this one here. Oh, you could actually have multiple of the same ones, too. So if you're low on a certain ingredient, you could have, like, multiple ones. That's pretty cool. Pause, let me see the center list here momentarily. So, you'll be yellow. Toss you over there. 73, that's the one. So, we'll send Connor Madden over here. You'll come to green. And I guess you'll have to be in red. Okay. So, let's fry away here meanwhile. Loki is not asking for any food just yet. This is our prep time. Pause momentarily. Any more greens? So, we have another 70 though. So, let's just toss you here now. You'll be there. Uh, you'll be green and you'll be red. Perfect. Unpause. So these all the ingredients we're getting in prep time. Dinner time! So, Loki's looking for a dish containing... What? What the heck's that? Just, uh... Wh what the heck is this? No, no, I, I don't want to give him an offering yet. I know what he was asking for. Okay, it's gotta be... Oh, okay. So, it's asking for... A... <laughs> It's asking. He's asking for anything with a baked potato? A baked potato, I see. So, which one of you bad boys? Well, I guess the potato skins? Yeah, so we could do both potato skins for that one. And we actually have a good one for the blue guys that we got at 70. So let's do that one right here. Maybe it'll give us a higher favor than usual. So let's cook potato skins. And let's send some more people over here. So bam, 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 bam. Perfect. There it is. Higher than D? D plus! Okay, well, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Freshly peeled for your pleasure. Excellent. Does he still want more or what? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No, it's not. I, I got it made. I, I never, I never um, presented as a tribute. Because I'm a dingus. 
Luckily for us, the next dish he's asking for is also asking for another um, potato. A baked potato, so the one that we have now should be just fine. Look at that. Being a dingus helped me out for once. Now he's asking for the blue variety, which is going to be that guy with the fried potatoes, huh? Alrighty, well, before we do that, let me go ahead and fry a couple of dudes here. Uh, you go off to red or yellow, red or yellow. Let's go with red here. Blue here. Yellow here. Oh, not enough for green, unfortunately. That's a shame. Alright, so... A dish containing the fried ones, right? So for that, what are we looking for? Obviously, fried potatoes would do. Two good quality ones. Oh, double on the goods instead of okay. This might be a really high rating one for once. Or at least maybe a B? I'll take a B. Cook that one. That one should be pretty good, man. There it is. C minus? Okay, not exactly the B, but... It's a C minus. Let's present it to him as a tribute. Damn, this isn't bad. Okay, that's a lot better. We're at 104 too. So at this point now, we could go in there and buy another fryer because we have the favor for it as well, don't we? We can indeed do that. He wants another dish now. At this point, we already met our quota though, so we're fine. At this point, we're just actually going for extra favor, which is not a bad thing. He's looking for boiled potatoes for this one. So boiled potatoes, let's see. They'll be okay quality, but it's fine. We'll cook these over here. And let's go back to sinners. Uh, we have 74 Tossy here. Tossy here. Tossy here. And green. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this. Okay. New dish done. Ah, uh, that was gonna be a D. No surprise there. Percent as a tribute. There it is. I don't think we'll have enough to finish that one off, to be honest with you. So let me just toss a couple of dudes here to burn and cook, meanwhile. Uh, well, not enough for that one. That one. Yeah, that'll be it for dinner. Oh, it's last order time, so I guess I could do another one, too. Alright, so he's looking for baked potatoes again. So, that's the easy one. Go to OK for that one. Cook it. You know what to do. My dudes are ready to cook. Um, I guess we'll toss the yellow here. Blue here. 80. Green. Excellent. Dish is done. Loke. There you go, buddy. Daily report. We're done. 27 sinners sorted, 5 dishes cooked, and 5 orders completed. Pretty good, I would say. Definitely pretty good. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is going to be, um, holy potatoes? What the hell? If you would like to see a bit more on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we can indeed do that as well. Otherwise, all the information for the game will be in the description below. In case you want to pick it up for yourself, I will catch you next time. Sweeney Tots, baby!